Yeah. Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the bioassay of oxytocin with your favorite uh, chicken, that is KFC chicken, your favorite. I'm pure vegetarian, okay, by birth, by death, okay. Bioassay of oxytocin. Yeah. We are using the uh, here one uh, animal, very important method, this cockerel. Cockerel. It's a young male chicken. Young male. Two young male. These are the two important characters. Don't use a female cockerel here. Okay. With that uh, uh, cockerel that we are using here. Okay. Actually, oxid. Uh, yeah. Okay. A standard preparation. Fourth international standard for oxytocin. Fourth international standard. Not one to five. Okay, Th those are substandard. Okay, they finally they decided it is a fourth international standard for oxytocin in the year of uh, that is uh, corresponding year. It is a freeze dried synthetic oxytocin, freeze dried product. You know, drying uh, of various methods. Okay, in that freeze dried is one of the uh, method using for the hormones especially. So that freeze dried synthetic, which is prepared synthetically. Oxytocin. Oxytocin is a peptide. It is a protein like that. Protein structure, amino acids, it consists of. Okay. And it is a stored in a human albumin. Along with the human albumin is a protein. Uh, we know that uh, protein, drug protein interactions in the biopharmaceutical subject. That's another part. It is a stored with the human albumin and uh, citric acid. And it is supplied in the amples containing a 12.5 units like this. See here, I have shown the my cursor. See the cursor like this. Amples which consist of a 12.5 units you have to supply. It is a fourth international standard, right? And oxytocin is mainly having a two important characteristics, two important actions. What is that action? Is oxytocin? You see the cursor. Milk ejection, milk ejection from the best breast, okay, for a mother, from a mother to a baby. And here, prolactin is also there. Prolactin increases the milk production. That point you have to keep in your mind. Both are looks like same. Prolactin, name itself consists of it is a lactin. Okay, like that you can remember. Prolactin, lactin, it uh, synthesizes the milk whereas a ejection ejection from the breast will be caused by the oxytocin that pressure okay pressure that is the first important characteristic and second important characteristic is the contraction of the uterus see it is contraction this way contracted this way this way this way like that so many ways it will be contracted so the baby will be delivered easily uh, that's why oxytocin injections are regularly they are giving a at the end of the delivery. These are the two important characteristics of the oxytocin. This is the syllabus as per the, your university. Here you can see the points which I highlighted with the reading, bioassay of oxytocin, that we are going to be cover this day. Yeah, there are totally three methods are there. Total three methods are important. However, uh, in the examination, one or two methods, you can write more than sufficient for regular examination. By the depression of BP in the chicken, blood pressure bp is nothing but a blood pressure in the chicken for that only i have shown the diagram male we are taking oxytocin shows the action in the female uterus whereas here we are selecting a male chicken that is a cockerel young male chicken we are selecting okay and we are studying the character of the bp oxytocin decreases the bp that point we have to remember okay and second one second method that is method b by contraction of the rat uterus. So female rat we are selecting here. Contraction. Just now I have shown oxytocin is having a effect of the contraction of the uterus. That point you can be uh, uh, remember. And next uh, third one is also female rat we are taking. By measurement of the milk ejection pressure. How much milk is ejecting uh, from the rat nipple. Female. Here also we are selecting the female rat. So method A, male. BP checking, method B, method C, rat, both are females, that we are going to be, yeah, method A, we will see the, all the things we will see one by one, okay, method A, by the depression of the BP in the chicken, 
see this is the bp operators and you have to keep the checking of the what is the normal bp of the cockerel okay principle is oxidation decreases the bp this is a basic principle point what you have to keep in your mind this is the test oxidation preparation which is there in your hand it is prepared by you oxidation and you want to determine the potency of the this oxidation this is called a test preparation okay how much either it is a 90% 95% 100% potency or 105 potency is there how much potency is there that you are going to compare with the standard only this is a international standard fourth international standard in the oxidation so here what you have to do basic principle uh, for example say 1 ml of the test you are taking 1 ml 2 ml 3 ml that uh, i will tell you in a procedure example i have given the 1 ml of the test you are taking same one ml you are giving to the cockerel and here on the another side 1 ml of the standard you are giving to another cockerel okay and here you measure how much bp is reduced okay and here also you have to measure how much bp is reduced see since the doses are same 1 ml 1 ml okay here how much bp reduced how much bp reduced that you have to match with the help of that you can compare and calculate the potency of this because you know the potency of this how much bp is reduced with the help of that you can calculate easily compare and calculate okay method a by the depression of the bp in chicken test animals cockerel young male chicken which is weighing about 1.2 to 2.3 kg of the this one that you know very well what is the weight of the chicken because you are taking uh, regularly anesthetized uh, cock anesthetic you have to with the agent of the prolonged you have to use anesthetic agent which is having a prolonged anesthetic effect as well as the constant high bp activity both so you have to select the anesthetic agent in such a way that it should must produce a prolonged anesthetic effect number 1 Number two is the constant high BP because we are giving oxytocin to reduce the BP here. That's why anesthetic agent you use it to increase the BP like that. You have to select and expose the gluteus primus muscle. That is a thigh, thigh of the not your thigh. It is a thigh of uh, a chicken leg piece. You are saying no leg piece very uh, tasty. Uh, my friends are saying leg piece is very tasty like that. Okay, expose the gluteus primus. muscle that is a thigh bone this is a thigh so thigh muscle remove the popliteal artery popliteal popliteal artery and crural crural vein these two are very very important okay and cannulate you have to give a cannula just like a cannula we are giving no from uh, um, that is in case of iv injection iv infusions iv infusion we are giving a small cannula like that you can be cal cannulate the popliteal uh, artery and record the bp response in that can in that cannula only you have to inject your oxytocin injection that is important prepare the standard solution uh, dilutions you have to made it with the saline inject 0.1 to 0.5 ml as your wish okay how much same you can give a preferably test also you can give a same dose okay this is the standard saline Uh, inject the two doses of standard so uh, standard solution that is oxytocin standard uh, you have to inject so that what happen bp will be reduced bp will be reduced that how much bp is reduced that you have to be no doubt again you have to check the bp dose should cause a decrease in the bp okay that you have to be no doubt that is very very important and the interval between the two injections here i have told no two doses of the standard solution there must be interval uh, is a constant usually 3 to 10 minutes gap you have to give okay uh, so that uh, what happen why we are giving a, this one is uh, bp return to normal first you have given oxytocin injection standard solution so bp is reduced you maintain it recovery 10 minutes you wait it give a gap again you can give the same test dose of the ana uh, some high volume okay two doses i have told low dose first you give you wait it check it bp uh, 10 minutes recovery then you give a high dose okay that is so dilute test preparation also dilute you have to dilutions of the test preparation also with the saline okay so so as to get a same response as that of the standard okay same test standard you have given the two doses same only test also same volume you have to give that is better always better easy for the calculation also 
and the same procedure you have in the cannula you have to give an injection measure the bp how much bp is reduced that you can be calculate the second method now b method b by the contraction of the rat uterus here we are selecting the rat not the uh, chicken chicken gun now this is the rat this is the rat this is a rat uterus see the structure this is a it just like a y letter y structure is there okay these are the uterine horns various parts of the rat uterus oxytocin contracts the uterus this is your test preparation you are inject into 1 ml to the rat uterus measure the strength of uterus contraction how uterus is contracted with the 1 uh, ml of the test okay how much strength that you have to calculate and standard also same thing standard preparation you have to give 1 ml to the rat and measure the strength of the uterus contraction how much and both you have to compare with the how much dose how much contraction is there you compare and calculate finally report to the potency of the test preparation method b by the contraction of the rat uterus test animals are female rat you are using this is a female rat weighing about 120 to 200 grams this is a healthy female rat only inject the 100 micrograms of estradiol benzoate that is estradiol is nothing but estrogen hormone because we have to maintain sufficiently the estrogen levels in the rat that's why you have to give a estra estradiol or nothing but estrogen injection intramuscular into the rat because it is having action on the uh, uterus so it is mandatory before the assay confirm the vaginal smear the rat is in ostrus or pre ostrus that is the rat is either rat must be a estrogenous or pre estrogen but it should not be sub estrogenous level estrogen levels you have to maintain it should not be sub that means a below estrogen level that's why you are giving an injection of estrogen here now kill the rat uh, suspend the one horn one this is a two horn or sir there one horn uh, of uterus in the organ bath containing a solution of the following this is the solution you have to maintain okay maintain the bath at a temperature of 32 degrees centigrade and uh, you have to use the oxygenated aerator also with 95% of oxygen and uh, 5% of the co2 record the contraction of the uterus muscle on the chymograph you will get a chymograph whenever you are giving injection in the organ bath uh, what happened the tissue will be contracted when it contracted liver will move when the liver moves so that you will get a curve like this on the chymograph record the now record the contraction produced by the addition of the two doses of the standard preparation for example say 10 and 50 ml units per ml of a both liquids standard in the same fashion you can do test also uh, two doses so that four values four curves you will get and you have to match it when maximum contraction is there up to the chymograph top maximum contraction has been reached replace the both liquid by a fresh solution you have to be replaced similarly record the contraction of the test preparation as that of the standard ratio between the two doses of the test and two doses should be equal like that you have to maintain and finally you can calculate the results by using a standard statistical method by using a student t test so many statistical tests are there no i have already explained uh, in my videos are available that you can calculate with the help of that and method c by the measurement of the milk ejection pressure in lactating rat this is not pregnant rat which is already delivered see when the rat is delivered then you can say it is a lactating it prepares for the lactation after delivery only not before delivery lactation is not possible okay lactating rat see here you can see the total five nipples are there for rat okay that you can see here this is a nipple one and this is nipple two here you can see nipple 3 nipple 4 nipple 5 for feeding the babies of the rat okay so here uh, you can show the two oxytocin ejects the milk from the nipple that we know very well uh, i have already told you pressure will be increased milk ejection pressure and uh, 1 ml of the test solution example and 1 ml of the standard preparation you are giving to this rat and here you are giving to this rat and measure the pressure of the milk how much increased the pressure that you have to calculate and here also measure the pressure of the milk okay and compare the both and you have to be calculate the potency of the our bio say that is a test preparation
so this is experimental preparation this is the recording uh, inflammatory pressure this is not required but electroencephalograph keep in your mind 1 2 3 4 5 nipples are there test animals lactating rats only 3 to 25 21 day after uh, parturition and 300 grams is the weight you have to be select you have to anesthetize give an anesthetic injection this one pentobarbitone we know very well pentobarbitone sodium you have to give a injection and you tie the rat on the op operating table okay you take the operation table at 37 degrees centigrade by its hind legs leaving front free front legs you have to give it free and the hind legs you have to be uh, and cannulate the trachea with the tube with the, as a measurement and uh, artificial respiration you, you have to apply if necessary actually not uh, required generally artificial respiration to the rat cannulate an uh, external jugular or femolar vein cannula just like iv infusion the cannula you have to insert into the external jugular vein or femoral vein you have to inject to that only you have to give your oxytocin injections okay and insert the tube uh, to a depth of uh, sufficient to obtain the appropriate measurement of the pressure this is very very important insert the tube small tube you have to uh, sew it and so that it, it aids the measurement of the pressure of the milk that you have to see this is the connect the cannula with the suitable strain gauge transducer this point you have to write in the examination strain gauge transducer okay used for the recording of the artificial uh, bp in rat that is a blood pressure also same not just like a BP only here also that is blood pressure this is a milk pressure so that milk pressure will be increased here oxytocin ejection will be increased uh, and with the help of you have to give a sodium citrate and as well as the saline containing the 50 units of uh, heparin to avoid here citrate you are giving to avoid the clotting of the milk heparin you are giving the uh, to avoid the clotting of the blood respectively in the competitive exams they will write they will ask you definitely why you are giving a citrate to avoid the clotting of the milk why you are giving a heparin to avoid the clotting of the blood inject the 0.2 ml of this solution after cannulation from the tip of the cannula and you have to measure the pressure with the help of this uh, recorder uh, electroencephalography recording this electroencephalographic recording for the mind generally and this inflammatory pressure recording is used for the nipple here for all the nipples you have to use this one okay and uh, like potentiometric recorder this point also you have to use this is a gauge like this gauge okay and uh, milk ejection pressure increase in the milk ejection pressure of the 5 to 3.3 kilopascals okay inject all the solutions through the venous cannula using a 1 ml syringe graduated and the same procedure you have to follow uh, standard and test preparation you have to do between the dose between 0 0.1 to 0 0.4 ml okay in that only you have to do it test preparation with the same interdose ratio matching you have to do a matching uh, uh, how much pressure okay and uh, you can use randomized block design or latin square block design that also i have already explained in the videos that you have to be shown okay finally uh, the basic in the examination basic principles are important that point you have these type of uh, slide basic principles are very 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 important for all that Okay, so thank you. And you can watch all my videos in the in my PC.